Welcome back to Let's Play Sunderland in Football Manager 2019. I'm Aether, and as always, we're straight into the action. And since last episode, I played two games, and both ended up with the same result. We managed to win with two goals versus one. First, this one away versus Stoke, and uh, it was a really, really good win. Stoke is a quality team, and we really had to fight for it. Looking at statistics, it was really, really close, and... Yeah, I'm very pleased with that one. Uh, but then we followed that one up with the same result versus Brentford. Different was, of course, that today we were playing at home in the rain. And uh, they actually took the lead. So uh, it was a very, very some start because the Stoke game away is a difficult one that we definitely could lose. This one was a game we really, really should be winning. So... We, we had to fight for it, and we completely dominated things. We should have won easier, we should have won big, but we got three points, and that's what counts. With these two results, means that we have reached the final game of the season. Today, we are playing at home versus Swansea, and it's a huge one. It's a decisive moment, because we... Now, if you take a look at the league table, we have Cardiff topping the table. We are in second place, the same amount of points, but with much, much, much worse uh, goal difference. And then we have Derby, one point behind us and uh, Cardiff, which means this episode, this game could become madness. Because uh, depending on what happens here today, we could win the league we could get second place or we could be fighting in a playoff position because uh, i mean if cardiff wins today they're going to win the league because their goal difference is just out uh, out of our reach but if we win today we have the chance to win the league if cardiff doesn't win if we uh, draw or lose us today we might see ourselves heading to playoff because then it's a big risk of derby overtaking us but this also puts us in a situation that this could potentially be the last episode of this series. Because we are in a situation where the goal of this series, as you know, we changed it. The goal is just to be the manager that managed to bring Sunderland back to where they belong in the Premiership. So if we get promoted today, which means if we, after this game, it ends up in first or second place, then this series is over. But of course, if that doesn't happen, and it clearly may not happen then we're going to keep on playing and going in to, to the playoffs. Looking at the schedule, as I mentioned before, we are playing Swansea, and they are basically in the middle of the table. So they're a good team, but they are a team that we should be favourites for this game, especially since we have that home advantage. At the same time, Cardiff plays away versus Reading, and Reading is currently in fifth place, so that won't be easy for them. They could definitely end up losing points here. And then for Derby... They are playing away versus Brentford. And again, it's a game that Brentford is not too many places behind them. They are a lot of points behind, but not a lot of places. So uh, both of Derby and Cardiff have the potential to lose points today. But I would be very surprised if both of them lost points, which means we need to do well. We need to do really, really well. I mean, we could even find ourselves in a situation where we lose and Cardiff lose and then... Derby wins the league and we are down to once again down to playoffs. So there's a lot of different scenarios here. We need to do a very, very well for ourselves. Matt yourself picked up an injury. Let's see, is there anything else you need to know? Um McBurney uh is not allowed to play this game because we are playing the, the team that we uh, are loaning him from, but he wouldn't play anyways because uh he's uh injured he is just back from an injury, lacking a lot of fitness, so he won't be involved either. But that's the current situation. And my gosh, I am nervous. This could potentially be the last episode ever of this series. Or this could be an episode where it ends in tears. And oh my gosh, I am most certainly nervous. But this is the Swansea team we're up against. And we know that they are strong. 
but we also know we have the at home advantage. This is a game we could win, maybe a game we should win, but oh my god, this is football manager, and you just can't take anything for granted at all. I kind of like almost doesn't dare to to uh, click the key binding for kickoff, but let's do it. And also, let we want to keep a track on the latest scores. The latest score is going to be huge for us. And it's, of course, the Cardiff game and the Derby game we're going to be keeping our eyes on during every single highlight. See if anything happens. Right now, though, ooh, here is the first highlight. And, ooh, Reading has taken the lead versus Cardiff. This is huge. And here's Will Shut. Here's Will Shut. And it was a really, really good try. And Brent for the second lead versus Darby. What's happening here? Right now, both the games is going our way. That's sensational, but of course, then we're probably going to see Swansea scoring soon. Here's Will Shut though for Honeyman. Honeyman. Video back to Honeyman. Ledbitter. Ledbitter. With a, ooh, a very optimistic shot. Here's Wilson. Maybe, maybe it's not over. But now it's going to be over. Ledbitter actually did a sensationally bad game the last time he played. He was uh, like a. Uh, embarrassingly bad like a 6.0 rating so hopefully he can do better here because we're going to need it we um most definitely do but now the clock just ticks on looking at statistics we are completely dominating things here but we're not seeing any highlights at all and as i say that we actually see a highlight still same result in derby game and still the same result in carby of game and then the will shut Gives us the lead. My gosh, this could be a glorious moment. Because right now, we need to bring up the league table too. I'm sorry if I'm too excited. Of course, I can't do it during the highlight. So we're going to have to do it um, during the next highlight. But it's an own goal. And <laughs> I take it. I take it. I take it. I take it. I most definitely take it. And now we have another highlight. Uh, let's see. Can we get the league table? There it is, the league table. So right now, we are topping the table. And here is Joe Allen for Wilson. Honeyman, Flanagan on the right flank. Over Wilson, Wilson, and just outside the post. So let's see, Cardiff still one down. Darby still one down. Here's Honeyman. And here is Wilson, Harry Wilson. He's actually only his third goal of the season but because he's been injured so much. But on paper, he's probably our best player. But remember, even if we win this one, uh, if Cardiff score twice, they are going to be winning the league. And they can most definitely score two goals in, in the, the second half. So we can't take anything for granted here. Still such an important moment. But that is the halftime whistle. My gosh, let's, uh, we want them to concentrate. You might winning, but I could still change if your performance levels drop. Don't let that happen. Brilliant result here, brilliant reaction. And still one goal, one goal. Oh my gosh. So let's pause it now. We don't need to see what. We could change the action zones with, uh, the latest scores, how we could change the match stats with the league table. So we can see these things here too. Derby, Cardiff, actually, let's, I, I don't care. Let's remove that team. I want to see all the results, all the latest scores. My UI now is a bit messed up, but it's all worth it. So we can keep track of Cardiff and Derby at all time. This is, this is nerve-wracking. This is... Uh, I'm just staring like <laughs> with a mad grin on my face and in my eyes. You're staring at the screen. The clock just ticks on and ticks on. Nothing happens. I think it's time to look for the subs here. We have Wilson that haven't done one of his best games. He's our top goal scorer in the league. But I think it's time to bring in Will Griggs instead. See if he has a better day here today. And then let's see who's tired. But all oh, these guys are playing so well. We can't, I think we want to keep it like this for a little bit longer. We don't want to replace the guy. Two guys stay with 7.9 ratings. Not, not yet, at least. They can survive for a little bit longer. Still one 
Still same result, both Derby and the Cardiff game. But now it's really time for the subs. They're going to focus now just on who is tired. But we can't, he's motivated and everything we want from a player. Let's instead go with Ledbitter, bring in Catamol. And then... Then, then, then. Actually, I think we're going to go with Joe Allen. No, we can't because we don't have any good options on the bench right now. Because of injuries. Uh, so... I mean, let's go with Wilson then to bring in Watmore. Watmore actually scored the winner. I think, no, maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, I had like a vague memory of him scoring a winner in one of the two goals games we watched, but I might be mistaken. So, Cardiff, Derby, Cardiff, Derby, Cardiff, Derby, clock ticks on, clock ticks on, Derby, Cardiff. There's 10 seconds left. Uh, staring. Oh, Brentford has scored another one, which means Darby is out. They are definitely out. And Cardiff. Look at this glorious moment. Sunderland is officially back where they belong in the Premier League. We have won the league. A sensational result. Like I could never, if I would have bet, bet, bet money on this one, I would never bet on both of them losing. That was a very, very unlikely result, but uh, we need to go passionate here, don't we? We won the league. We won the league. Let's see here. Take a look at the news. Let's see what they say. So, Sandland wins Skybet Championship. We lift the title here on the last day of the season. Is there anything else we want to see? Anything else? The board is of course delighted. Back to back promotions. Fantastic. And of course the hails me. But this, I think... I think this is a brilliant way to, uh, to end this. Looking at this screen. It's been a fantastic journey. And it's been a lot of fun. But now it's time for me to take a break from Football Manager until Football Manager 2020 is released. And believe me, it's going to be a lot of content. So I know some of you guys, of course, are going to miss my series, but I need I need to refill my batteries so I can come back with a passion when FM20 is released. So a massive thank you to everybody that tuned into this series. Watch all the episodes. Much love to all of you guys. And uh, if you don't watch any of my other content, I'll see you in a few months for my first FM20 save. Thank you.